So you have a PlayStation Vita and you want to mod it, but you don't want to mod it with a computer or a MacBook. You want to mod it straight on the PS Vita. Well, let's do that in this video. First thing we're going to need is a PS Vita. Perfect. Run it through all the setups and then get connected to your local Wi-Fi. My software was on 3.73. That means I want to update it to the latest software, which is 3.74. And now I wait and you guys don't have to. Now that I'm fully updated, it means I need to go to the browser. You're going to want to type in deploy.psp2.dev. Click enter. The PlayStation Vita jailbreak, it tells you the supported firmware, which there I am at 3.74 now. Want to hit unlock my Vita and then hit unlock. From there, it's going to direct you straight to a bootstrap menu. From there, you're going to want to install Vita Deploy. And install Hinkaku. Now you go to the Hinkaku settings and enable homebrew, just like that. Head over to the Vita Deploy app and let's downgrade our firmware. As you wait while it downgrades, I'll also be showing you how to put video games on it. But there is a lot more to do, so that will be the last part of the video, so stay tuned. As we have a little bit more to do. So this is the Vita that you modded on the Vita. So, okay, great job, you got that far. But you want it to look like this one. This is the one that has every single PS Vita game on it. Which means you're also going to have all your emulators as well. But first things first, the first thing you're going to want to do, because nothing is just that simple, this had a proprietary memory card. You're going to want to purchase the SD Vita memory card. This bad boy is $6.99 on Amazon. You're going to want to have a 128 gigabyte or higher SD card that goes in here. It's that simple. Do that now. So like this video because you're going to have to come back to it once you get the card. Welcome back. Glad you liked the video. Obviously that SD Vita card goes right here. And for those that are only getting a one minute, don't forget to like for part three. But if this video extends, then you're going to go to Vita Deploy. So then you're going to go down to miscellaneous. You're going to want to hit format a storage device on format target. After your SD Vita card is formatted, you're going to go back and hit that reboot button. So you're rebooted. You're going to go into your settings app. Now you're going to go into devices, hit storage devices. Check this box that says YAMT. You're going to back out all the way to the first page of settings and then hit Hinkaku settings. You're going to go all the way down. You're going to reboot device one more time. So get right into it. First, you're going to go into Vita Deploy. Once you are in Vita Deploy, you're going to hit File Manager. You're going to see multiple different options. You're going to go to UXO, which is that one right there. Obviously, you're going to press the X key and then you'll be in here. You're going to want to hit Triangle because you're going to want to mark all the. So do that. Scroll down to S-C-E-L-O trash. You're going to want to unselect that one by pressing square. Simple next step. You're just copied. Go back, go into the UMA folder. You're going to copy all. And then you want to paste them over. Head all the way back to the main menu. Go into settings, devices, storage devices. And now you want to change out the storage devices. You want this to be SD2 Vita. And then you want to change this to memory card. Once again, you're going to back out, and then we're going to go to Hinkaku settings and reboot the device one more time. Now what you want to look at is go into your settings device, go to system, and then you're going to go to system information. My SD2 Vita card already has stuff on it, but as you can see, two different spaces. For the last part, now you want to go back into Vita Deploy. And this is where you're going to get all your games and all your apps and all your homebrew and everything. This is the big part. You see app downloader right there. Of course, you want to select absolutely everything. This is where you're getting, I mean, this is all the Vita games right here. This is the biggest thing. So select every single one of them. And now your Vita is modded and you will have hundreds, thousands of games for the Vita. And all of your emulation as well. What does it look like to have all these games? Let me show you. I recommend putting everything in folders, but this is package J. And then look at all this. Look at all of these games. Alphabetical order, of course. You have the upgraded SD2 Vita card, so now you're just downloading games and playing games. And with that said, obviously, I review tech. This is what this channel has been about. I do shorts, TikTok, Instagram, Clapper, etc. So the best thing that you can do for this channel is subscribe, like, follow me on Shorts because that's where a lot of my content goes. And don't forget to enjoy your PS Vita modded. As I said, don't forget to subscribe.